More than a week after the deadly shooting in Florida, calls for change continue nationwide. Here in Minnesota, students and parents have new questions about safety after their own frightening ordeal. Orono schools placed on lockdown for more than five hours yesterday. Police say a high school student posted a threat on Twitter and Facebook stating that Orono schools would get shot up at noon. They arrested the student and consider another student to be a person of interest. Jeff Wagner reports. It almost doesn't seem real. But this frightening scene surrounding schools on lockdown in Orono was the reality for hundreds of parents anxiously awaiting outside. And this was the reality for the students, desks being used as barricades to keep their classroom doors secure. Parent Carlos Perez was so worried, he made his son prove he was safe by sending this picture. The only reason why we got that picture is because I told my boy, I need to see you. <laughs> I don't care about nothing else. Just let me see you and know that you're okay. Police say just before 11 a.m., they were tipped off about two threats on social media. On Twitter, a user named Anonymous Vector wrote, Orno is not safe. Today at noon, I will shoot up the school myself. Police felt it was credible. Due to the fact that it gave a specific time, a specific area of being in the school, and the content in that message. With help from other agencies, including the FBI, investigators determined the threat was made from inside the high school. That's why we held everybody in their position in the school until we could make that arrest. Police say the student suspect was found in a classroom without any weapons on him. He's being held on a felony terroristic threat charge. So for those that want to do this to get attention, there are consequences, serious consequences. Some parents feel criminal charges aren't enough. Well, honestly, I don't want them at the school anymore. So I would want them to be gone. Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. Classes do resume today in Orono. The district superintendent says there will be a crisis team in every building and a police presence too. But she does support parents who would prefer to keep their kids at home for the day. School safety has been top of mind over the last week. In a sign of solidarity, Twin City students joined their peers from across the country yesterday by walking out of class to demand gun reform. I think it's important that students feel safe at school. We go to school to learn. We don't go to be frightened walking down the hall. We just want to be safe. We caught up with kids from Washburn, Roosevelt, Southwest, De La Salle, and South High Schools as they marched to MLK Park, then on to Minneapolis City Hall. There they told the city council it's unacceptable that they feel unsafe in schools. After hearing from the students, the council passed a motion to support an assault rifles ban in Minnesota. The movement is being led by the students from Parkland, Florida, who lost 17 classmates and teachers in a shooting last week. Those kids marched at their state capitol in Tallahassee yesterday, demanding action and policy changes okay. from lawmakers. They split into several groups to talk one-on-one -on -one with lawmakers and other state leaders about gun control, the legislative process, and mental health issues. Meanwhile, students and teachers from communities impacted by school shootings visited the White House. He spoke candidly with President Donald Trump, Vice President Mike Pence, about school safety. I lost a best friend, who's practically a brother. And I'm here to use my voice because I know he can't. It's not going to be talked like it has been in the past. It's been going on too long, too many instances, and we're going to get it done. The president said school safety has become a top priority for his administration. Earlier this week, he announced he is taking steps to ban bump stocks. That's an accessory that allows guns to fire like automatic weapons. The president later tweeted he also wants to focus on strengthening background checks. A student-led march on Washington is planned for March 24th. Stay with WCCO for continuing coverage. People around the world are remembering the Reverend Billy Graham, the man known as America's pastor, died yesterday at his North Carolina home at the age of 99. Graham started his ministry here in the Twin Cities, and a Minneapolis pastor remembers it well. Stephanie Williams O'Brien is the lead pastor at Mill City Church in Northeast Minneapolis. Her dad worked for Reverend Graham for 30 years, and their families became close friends. He did the, the baby dedication and blessing for both me and my little brother when we were babies. He was a part of so many significant moments. I can't remember my first Billy Graham crusade. I was so little. He was a very authentic and genuine man. He really tried to be the same person that he was in front of people as he was behind the scenes, and that was what I saw. He was never too important for anybody. 
Graham was also the president of what was then called Northwestern Bible College in Roseville for four years from 1948 to 1952. A private funeral will be held next week in North Carolina. Billy Graham will be laid to rest next to his wife, who died in 2007. A program at Egan High School is reminding students that college is not the only way to achieve a successful career. About a dozen students are enrolled in a new construction trades program. They're actually building a tiny house right now to learn the basics of carpentry, wiring, and plumbing. There is a growing shortage of skilled workers in the building trades that's only getting worse. When these kids graduate, and have, they have a path that they're ready for. Um, and hopefully in doing projects like this, they're exposed to um, different areas and then it will spark an interest and they want to go become an electrician. Instructors say in the next five years, construction trades will lose 50% of their skilled workers to retirements. We hope there's a good roof on that tiny house because we're getting some snow today. The Weather Watcher 